Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. Recently, my brother-in-law contacted me and asked me if I can help him build a utility box for a 1932 Ford pickup truck. He is currently working on this truck, converting it into a street rod. He wants it for car shows or road trips, because if you know anything about a 1932 Ford pickup, there's no storage in the cab. There's only the bed, so I'm going to bring you along. We're going to build a utility box for a 1932 Ford pickup truck street. Rod. Here is the original drawings for the utility box. We made some minor changes and then I created some cut sheets. What we're going to end up using is two sheets of aluminum diamond plate, 3 16th inch thick. I'm going to start out marking the main box on the first sheet. My idea is to cut out the outside and then I'm going to score all the bends. I'm using my Craig track saw to make all my cuts and my scoring cuts. I bought a carbide blade that I'm going to use just for cutting aluminum and scoring the aluminum. I will not use this blade for anything else. All right, for the main box, all my cuts are done. Next thing to do is to score all the bends. Using the track saw made this next step here so much easier. All I had to do is set the depth of the blade about half of the thickness of the material, line up the track, and just make my score marks. I did make the width of the scores about the size of the material, so 3 16th of an inch. For the larger sides, I had to clamp it down in order to make the bends. The smaller sides were a lot easier. I was able to bend it by hand. I did not need to clamp it down. Standing on it at this point made it a lot easier to finish bending it. Scoring the back side ended up working out great. I had really good bends and a cut back on the amount of welding I had to do. The welder I'm using on this project is the Yes Welder 205DS-B and I'm using the optional spool gun that Yes Welder sells for this unit. The welding wire I'm using is the ER5356 welding wire. As always, if you have any questions about the project, welders, tools used today, or have any other comment or suggestions about future projects, please let me know in the comments below. With the main box welded up, I grab the second sheet of the diamond plate aluminum and I start marking out the lid, just like I did on the main box. With the lid all marked up, I start out by cutting out the outside and then I'm going to score all my bends. I have never bent aluminum past 90 degrees before, so my plan is to almost do the same as I did for the box. I am going to score it half the thickness. This time I'm going to go wider than the thickness of the material. This way it has room to fold in.
With everything cut and scored, now it's time to bend the ends in on the lid. This was a little difficult. It took a little effort to get it bent. On the longer end, I ended up using a sheet metal bend. This helped out a lot. Then I started using a rubber mallet to start trying to get to the final bend. And once again, standing on it gave me the best leverage to make these bends and also to not let it shift, especially when I was using the rubber mallet. Once I got everything bent to the 45 degree angle, it did end up cracking on me. So I did end up welding all the ends. Now here's the lid sitting on the box for the first time. After welding all the seams on the lid, I used a two inch disc sander and made everything nice and smooth and smoothed out my welds. Since I'm painting the whole entire utility box satin black, I wanted my welds to be smooth instead of seeing the actual welds itself. After I was done sanding, the next thing to do is to cut down the piano hinge and install it on the back of the lid. I clamped the piano hinge to the back of the lid, drilled all my holes, and then I used aluminum rivets and riveted every single one. Once I was done installing the piano hinge, I prepped the lid for paint. I also taped off the piano hinge so I wouldn't get paint on it. When the street rod is done, it is going to be painted a satin black. So I'm painting the utility box to match it. I'm going to paint three coats of this satin black. The first coat is going to act like the primer. I could have probably gotten away with two coats, but I want to be safe and I did a third coat. With the lid drying, I went back to the main box. On the main box, I am now welding all the inside seams. After welding up the inside of the box, I ended up marking out where the latch is going. I used the plasma cutter from my Yeswater CT2050 to cut out the latch. Unfortunately, I took a picture instead of recording it, so here's the picture. The plasma cutter ended up working out perfect though, so so you know. After cutting out the latch, I prepped the main box for paint, and I painted it the same color, the satin black. I did end up doing three coats as well. Like I said, it's the first coat's a primer and then two coats. Once I'm done painting and everything is dry, it's a time to attach the lid to the main box. So I'm going to drill out all the holes from the piano hinge. I'm going to use the aluminum rivets and attach the lid to the box. Alright, once I am done putting all the rivets in, I'm going to turn the box around, I'm going to put the latch in, I'm going to drill it out, and I'm also going to rivet that in place.
with the latch in place. Now I have to figure out how to make it lock from the inside. What I came up with is using leftover aluminum for spacers. I have a stainless steel exhaust clamp that I squared off attached to the aluminum to create a loop. I made it so the loop is adjustable by tightening or loosening the nuts. I cleaned up all my welds. Now is the time to attach it to the inside of the lid. I first tacked it in place to make sure it was lined up and, it, and it, everything locked properly. Once I everything was completely lined up, I fully welded it out. Alright, the welding is done, the utility box is done, only thing left to do is install it in the back of the pickup truck. Now we're not going to fully install this, we're just going to line it up, we're going to see how high we want to place it. We will have to come up with some kind of mount to mount this onto the deck of the truck. The battery box is located underneath the utility box. So when we design this mount, we will also design it that it's easy to remove so we can access the battery. My brother-in-law's measurements were spot on. The utility box fits perfect in the back of the truck. So there you have it. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.